Yo, what's good, everybody? So uh, before we get started, a couple of things for you guys. Uh, first of all, if you guys want to try out Helium Mobile, you guys can get one month free on me. It's my gift to you guys. Check the description. Use the promo code when signing up for Helium Mobile. That will get you your first month for free. And if you're on Google Fi, and right now they're running a thing where if you use my promo code to sign up with Google Fi, um, you'll get a $60 credit for signing up. Usually it's $20, and I'm not sure when it's going back to $20, but so, you know, take advantage of right now while you can. That's $60 just for using my referral code um, signing up with Google Fi. So check those out. They're in the description, and let's get on with the video. Yo, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, so I just want to talk a little bit more about the Pixel 7. Because in my opinion, the Pixel 7 is probably the underrated phone um, of the Tensor-based generation, right? So by me, somebody that, you know, enjoys using Google Pixels, the Pixel 5 was an underrated Pixel device. So is the Pixel 7, but for the Tensor-based Google Pixels. But this device still can hang in 2024, you know? I know that uh, when it comes to getting a new Pixel device, uh, more and more people are more opted into getting, you know, like the Pixel 8. Um, you know, now that we have like the Pixel 9 that's, you know, been out, um, people are like going for the Pixel 8. But, you know, maybe you don't want to spend, you know, $350 to, you know, $400, which is what I'm seeing what the average price is for the Google Pixel 8. Um, so for a flagship experience, you know, sub $300, the Pixel 7's really got you covered. Um, I think the only thing that the Pixel 7 lacks compared to the 8 series uh, really is, you know, Gemini Nano. For those that really want on-device AI, uh, the Pixel 7 is not going to be able to do that. It does have access to Gemini, but everything is going to be through AI Cloud when it comes to the Pixel 7. Uh, the other thing is, is the years of support. So seven years of software support, you're not really going to get with the Pixel 7. That was started on the Pixel 8 and, uh, you know, literally just stays with the Pixel 8 and newer. And maybe, you know, the Pixel 10 will have seven years of software support. We, we, we shall see on that. Um, but... Yeah, the, the Pixel 7's got, you know, the three years of software, up, you know, upgrades and, uh, you know, five years of security patch. So that's probably the only downside. The coolest thing about the Pixel 7, though, is that even though it doesn't get seven years of software support like the Pixel 8 series and newer, it is a Google Pixel phone and it is a lot easier to um, install a custom ROM keeping the phone alive with you know the generations of android that the pixel 7 would not be getting so that is something that is you know really kind of cool as far as like everything else about the pixel 7 it, you know it gets it gets uh, it gets some good photos with uh, photography you know especially if you really you know just kind of take your time in getting uh getting your photos lined up you get some really good shots with the Pixel 7. The battery life is, it's decent. It's not the best. That's probably a caveat on the Pixel 7 that I would say some may find a little annoying. Um, battery life. Battery life is not 100%, you know, perfect. You know, it's not what we would all want out of battery life. I can, I can make it through a whole work day. Not a problem at all. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, if you're expecting like a day and a half battery life in the Pixel 7, that ain't happening. But it is still, you know, a very good device. Um, you know, it's got a lot to offer. And, uh, you know, personally, I think, um, you know, it is... It is like, you know, a very solid experience. I mean, Android 15 is what's currently on right now. And, you know, no bug issues that I've noticed. No no issues with rebooting. Uh, it's not soft bricked, obviously. It's not soft bricked from taking Android 15. So it's, it's, it's doing just fine. 
you know, overall at the end of the day, um, but like I seen it go for like $239, uh, Pixel 7, uh, pretty much got you. So, you know, if you're on any of the older Pixel devices still, you're looking to upgrade, but you know, you don't want to go as high as the Pixel 9s and the high prices on those because those are the newest ones. And maybe the Pixel 8 series still is a little bit too high for you. Um, don't count out the Pixel 7. The Pixel 7 can still deliver you a great experience. And even if it's something that's going to carry you off for the next two years, you'll be fine with the Pixel 7 until you're ready to upgrade again to something more newer. But um, that's pretty much my thoughts on the Google Pixel 7. Uh, it's still pretty good in 2024. This is the end, uh, end, of the, end of the year phase, right? So we're getting ready to enter into 2025. And, uh, anyways, thanks for checking out today's video. Uh, like, uh, check the description. There's some promos there for you guys. Check the description. I'll talk to you on the next one.